ever look at the changing skyline in downtown Boise and wonder who makes those decisions? Who designs the cities of the future? Someday they may come from the tiny town of Garden Valley. Anchor Roland Barris explains why. There's hardly a building over two stories in Garden Valley, but the middle school students there are the best in the state at designing future cities. We power our city with lightning power and Ewoks, which are both like eco-friendly and don't produce any carbon emissions. Tiny Garden Valley turned out three teams for the annual Future City competition in Washington, D.C., two of which ended up in first and second place in the state. This this is a huge deal. Our, like, our community is so supportive of this competition. Um, the We have about 70 middle schoolers. 15 of them participate, which is 20 percent. The school has a history in this competition, winning the Idaho Regionals in 2020 and placing fifth in the nation back then. The winning team's expenses are paid to go to the Nationals, but the school wants to send the other teams along for the experience. Kids like Zion Osborne, who say the competition is not just about winning for her. The team building, the, like the bonding with your teammates, the building, just all the creativity and engineering. The school is halfway to the $30,000 they need to bring all the teams to D.C., and they need your help. The Nationals start February 17th, and if they reach their goal, it's another key lesson the instructors consider invaluable. I think what it really gives the kids is an understanding that they can do it. They can do anything. Roland Barris, Idaho News 6.